ladies and gentlemen, on table two, it's a class nine match representing People's Republic of China, Leilina. Representing Poland, Carolina Peck. Your umpire is Peter May from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Lee Soon Ju from the Republic of Korea. On table five, it's a class four match. Representing France, Emmerich Martin. Representing Republic of Korea, Kim Jung Gil. Your umpire is Michael Payne from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Russell Sutcliffe from Great Britain. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for all our players at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Farrell Anthony, and I'm your in-ear commentator for this Class 9 women's match between Li Li Na from China and Karolina Peck from Poland. Now, Li Li Na is the world-ranked number one player. She's age 24. Karolina Peck from Poland, she's only 14 years of age, so this... It's her first Paralympics. Um, both players are left-handed, and they're just knocking up now. They're allowed two minutes warm-up. Um, obviously, Lily Nye's got more experience, but isn't it great to see somebody so young competing in the Paralympic Games, uh, 14 years old, from Poland? And just to say, she's got a great role model as a youngster because um, Natalia Partica, who is the um, world ranked number one class wo um, 10 woman, she went to her first Paralympics when she was 12 years old in Sydney. So obviously Poland like to breed their youngsters young and, and get them experienced. The two minute knock up has finished and it will be Carolina Pack to serve and it'll be Lovell. Lovell. There you go, the uh, first point going to Li Li Na from um, China. Play the forehand down backhand side to Peck. And acknowledging a good fortune there, Again, Lili Na just um, winning the point. She now serves 2 0. And again, acknowledging a good fortune, she now leads 3 0.
and what happened was she played a side spin top spin serve into pet's backhand it popped up and she played a winner so now lena races into a 4-0 lead and pet gets her first point on the board nice top spin from the 14 year old there and with one serve to come Again, what's happened there? She played, she went smooth round onto her backhand to play a forehand, leaving her forehand exposed. And Lee just put the point down the, the line to win the point. A great backhand serve, backspin serve there. Now leads 5 6 1. And again, very strong on the backhand side. Lee not from China. She's um, racing to a seven-run lead very quickly. Great reverse backspin from Peck there from Poland. Winning the point quite easily. And she just, um, Lilinar just played the ball into the backhand side, but just the ball clipped the net and went off. But United leads 7-3 in the first game. Again, that side spin, top spin serve into Peck's backhand. It pops up and she plays a very strong backhand top spin return back to Peck's backhand. And there she's played a forehand as well. She's played a forehand topspin wide to Peck's forehand. And again, showing a strength and, and character at world, as world number one. Peck there, just probably just a bit anxious there. Played a move round to a forehand. Um, Lee just taking that ball and um, that game. Ten game, ten points to four. In the preliminary round. Um, Li Linar beat Lu Ming from China 3-0 and she beat Nelson Kavas from Turkey 3-0. Carolina Peck was beaten by Nelson Kavas 3-2 and she was also beaten by Li Ming 3-2 as well. So she's, she was very, she's been very competitive. Even though for one so young, she obviously belongs in this thing and she, she's only going to grow in confidence and we're probably looking for her to actually show her class in 2016 so we're going to start the second game now it's lead to serve and it's level Oh, and that was a great rally. Forehands and backhands. But Peck coming out on top. She now leads 1-0. Oh, oh. And she just tried to play the ball down the line. A different tactic there, but she's just missed it. So she now, she, it's one all. Oh, that's a great forehand from Peck. She moved, she played from the backhand side. She moved round onto a forehand, played the ball down the line for a winner. Now to all. And that pendulum serve from the Chinese, really whippy side spin, top spin serve, going wide into Peck's backhand, wins the point outright. Now leads 3-2.
and there, although Peck got the ball back on, Lee was in, in straight away to play a forehand down the, um, down the diagonal. Chinese players very strong, play very strong on both wings. And Peck just missing making an unforced error there. She now, she now trails 5-2 in the second game. Lee just acknowledging that, um, that she might have put the net, but it just must have gone off the table. The pole now lose it, it, behind 5-3. And what a great return from Peck. She's, although she's for one so young, she's so composed, and she just makes you know she she's obviously she, she proved that she can be in with this um, crowd. Um, she now trails 5-4. And from being 5-1 down, she now she now level at 5 all. Peck to serve. A very strong forehand top spring from Lee there. And the ball just flew off the, the pole's forehand side. Great movement from Peck there. She played a serve from the backhand side and played a topspin into the uh, the other side to the forehand. Brilliant shot. And there, Lee just coming under the ball instead of going round the ball for topspin and side spin. She came round with side spin and backspin. And then she's changed it again. She she played a serve with topspin and side spin, and she now leads eight six in the second game, that ball just going out of the reach of Peck, who was struggling to get the ball. And a fantastic forehand, backhand push, down Peck's forehand, very, very fast. Peck didn't read it. China now lead nice six. Great serve with Baxman from Peck there. She now leads nine seven. On Peck just acknowledging your good fortune there. She now. She's now behind 9-8. And again, that heavy topspin forehand. And what a backhand from Peck there. Backhand topspin off the side. She now trails 10-9 in the second game, but she's been more competitive. Probably settled down, had a few nerves in the first game. 11, They're just taking, yeah. not taking enough time to to bend her leg and get a ball um, spun. Lee taking the game, taking the point, taking the game. So she now leads 2-0. Uh, we have to win the first 11-4. She wins the second game, 11-9. She takes control of this match. Both players going back to their coaches for a, a minute to talk and take a drink and discuss tactics. It's very, must be very, uh, it's Peck's first Paralympic Games. Um, she's only 14 years old and shouldn't be disappointed because I think the experience will do her well. Um, but she, she's only 14 years of age and um, she looks disappointed, but I don't think she should be. She's playing the world number one, and although it's great, I mean it's great that she is disappointed, but she is still quite young, and I think in four years' time she'll be, she'll be a very, very good player. So we're here, ready for the start of the third game. Come on. 
great return from Peck there. That was fantastic. She she got the point. She lobbed and then just played the ball wide to Leonard's backhand. One up. Another strong forehand from Lee there, and to do draw one all. And again, that very strong top spin, side spin serve. But she threw the ball just a bit higher to create a bit more spin. So she now leads 2 1. one three. And Peck down now. 3 1. Um, Just the ball clip the net on the serve. And there, Peck topspin the ball, but Lee topspin the ball back with interest, back wide to Peck's forehand, so she now trails 4 1. And that was a great shot from Peck. She served side spin with a touch of topspin. The ball popped up, but she moved round and played the forehand down back to Lee's backhand. Brilliant shot. Lee. Great backhand from Peck there. She now trails 4-3. Again, Lee just tossing that ball with a lot of top spin. Peck trying to play it back with interest, but it just went away a bit. And she now trails 5 3. And again, Lee playing that very strong forehand top spin wide to Peck's forehand. And she just put it off the end of the table. So it's now 6-3 to Lee from China. Great backhand from Peck there. Just a bit short, but she whipped it up with the backhand. This girl's got quality. She's only 14 years of age. In four years' time, she'll be challenging for a medal. And again, she's she just won another point, she's 6 5 up, so 6 5 down, lead to serve. Five, and again, it's that pendulum serve with side spin and top spin that, that's creating a problem for Peck. She's now 7 5 down. Five, eight. And there. She just went a bit anxious there, tried to get the ball over the net, but with it, it had a heavy backspin on and she didn't lift it. And again, heavy topspin from the left-handed Lee into Peck's backhand. She just put it off the table. Lee in a very strong position now. She's 9-5 up in the third game. Again, she just played a backhand topspin down the line. And she now has five match points. And there it is. Peck puts the ball into the back into the net. Lee wins that game 11-5. So she wins the match three games to zero. 11-4, 11-9, 11-5 to progress to the next round. Unfortunately, we won't see Carolina Peck again this um, tournament in the singles event. She, um, But I'm sure that we will see her in four years' time. She's a great talent, got a lot of potential, and hopefully she'll, be, she'll qualify for Rio in 2016. My name's Farrell Anthony. I've been your in-ear commentator for this Class 9 women's match. I'll see you shortly.